Today I'm starting out my Computer Science A unit, and we're just going to go over the very basics of Java programming, including primitive types, identifiers, and operators. Primitive types, well, the ones that you need to know for the AP exam, are going to be ints, doubles, and booleans. And what I just did here was add a comment. So as you can see, these comments are green, and they don't really affect the code. They're just there for reading purposes. So to declare a variable, you would type out the variable type, which let's say is an int. And then what comes next is what we call the identifier or the name for the variable. So we could say, I don't know, my int. And an int, by the way, is, an, is short for an integer. So it's basically just a number. Int my int equals whatever you want it to be. So let's just say three. And then to end your statement, you just put a semicolon in. So now you have declared your integer variable, my int. And then the next thing would be a double. So a double is what we call a floating point number or a decimal. So instead of saying like three, you could do a 3.0. So double my double equals 3.0. The last primitive type that you really need to know is a boolean. So booleans are basically either true or false. Those are the only two values that you can have for a boolean. And let's say this is true. And this is really handy for um, when you want to flag something. So like if you want to see if your program's starting, you could make a boolean variable called start and then set it either to true or false just to see um, the status of your program. What you can do with these is actually use operators on them to perform different operations such as adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and something that we call modulo, the modulo or mod operator, which is basically just this percent sign looking thing. Okay, so let's try this out. So what I'm doing now is telling the computer to print out a line of what are, whatever I put into these parentheses. So if you want to do my int, which is three, you can just do that and run it. And it prints out three right here. It's very handy. So let's use the addition operator here and add three and 3.0. And the interesting thing about this is that it's going to come out as 6.0, not six, because one of these is a double. So whenever you add an int and a double, it's going to output a double. Same thing for subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division. See? There it is. Okay, so... Oh wait, I actually didn't put in my double, so it's still the same thing. Alright, now let's do um, my int minus my double. And that's going to output 0.0. .0. See that? If we just put in 3, another integer, then it would come out as just 0. No decimals coming after it. And then we also have multiplication. So I don't know, let's just do my int times my double instead. So that's going to be 3 times 3.0, which is going to be 9.0. And there it is. Okay, then we have division, which is 3 divided by 3.0, which is going to give us 1.0. And let's do the modulo operator. So what this basically does is divide it and then return the remainder. So 3 divided by 3 would be 1 and you have nothing remaining because it divides cleanly. So the remainder would be zero, and you'll see that it returns 0, 0.0. Now let's say you had five mod three. So five divided by three is one, and then the remainder is two. So that's gonna return just a two. And there it is. I also forgot to go over something about identifiers. The legal identifiers are composed of characters. So that's basically just the alphabet and numbers. 
and you can also include the dollar sign and the underscore. So you could have an identifier like this. So that would be totally legal. But the only thing you can't do is start with a number. So if I put in a 5 in front of integer, it gives me a little error sign here. You can put the 5 in any other spot like that. Just a little handy thing to know in case you see any errors pop up and you don't know what happened. Just remember that these are the rules for legal identifiers. So that's basically it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.